Now these equations have three variables, which you might not be working with that much in school yet, and so that may seem like scary, but it's really not. All they're asking us to do is rearrange this starting equation so that it looks like one of the bottom ones. And luckily they kind of make it really clear what we need to do. We need to get Q alone, right? So if I'm looking at this starting equation, I'm like, okay, what, what's in the way here? How can I get Q alone? Let me write it down here, Q minus 29R equals S. Well, I think about arithmetic and algebra using the mnemonic device germdas. Maybe you learned PEMDAS or BEDMAS or something like that. Whatever the case, I, you know, the, the idea is the same, is we want to have a process for sorting through things. And so the, the good thing about germdas is everything pairs off. So I have the A and the S are addition and subtraction. They're paired off. M and D are multiplication and division. They're paired off. And E and R represent exponents and radicals they're paired off. The G stands for groupings. So those are things that usually have parentheses, but not always, things that we can't really touch until we've dealt with whatever is grouping them together, whether it be a fraction, a radical, parentheses, doesn't matter. In this case, I'm thinking, okay, I gotta go backwards through germdas because I'm doing algebra. I wanna get Q alone. So germdas is my um, order of operations for basic arithmetic. So we start with groupings, then we go to exponents and radicals, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. But algebra is arithmetic in reverse because we wanna move things away. We can't like just simplify as easily. So we have to go backwards. Now, in this case, it's not gonna matter because there's really only one step we need to perform, but I think this is just good to set you up for future questions where it is a little bit more complicated. If I wanna get Q alone, I need to look and say, okay, what's getting in the way of Q right now? Well, this whole thing here, negative 29R is attached to my Q. How is it attached? It's attached through subtraction, right? It's Q minus 29R. So we need to move that away. And what germdas lets us do is it reminds us that everything is in opposites. So if I'm thinking about um, subtraction, then I really need to think about the entire box, addition and subtraction, right? Because in order to make subtraction go away with algebra, we use, in this case, addition to cancel it out, right? So negative 29R plus 29R is zero. So what we really have here is Q plus zero, and then on the right side we have our S that we had before, but now plus 29R is off to the side. We can't combine them because S and R are different variables, so they don't mix, but they still are gonna now be on the same side because we moved it over. The thing is we wouldn't put the zero because Q plus zero is just Q, right? The zero doesn't have any effect when it's addition and subtraction, so we just get rid of it, and now we have what we were looking for, right? We have an equation where Q is alone and choice B is the answer. Now, if you had written it kind of backwards, you could have had Q is equal to 29R plus S. You need to recognize that that's the same thing because addition is commutative. It doesn't matter the order of the addition, right? One plus two is the same as two plus one. It's the same thing when we have variables, the order doesn't really matter. So this ends up being not a very hard question. Um, it is one though that can feel intimidating if we you know, have, have this issue of just kind of not liking three variables or if we're still just learning algebra and, and don't really know what the process is. But I would say try to get something down that gives you a framework. And germdas for me is that framework. It lets me just think in terms of operations as pairs, but but also gives them an order so that if I'm doing arithmetic, I know how to simplify things. And if I'm doing algebra and I want to move things across an equal sign, I know there's an order for that. It's reversed, but that's the order we want to do. So for now, I'll just leave it at that, but you will hear me talk more and more about germdas as we get to harder questions, more complicated algebra. And when eventually you take the SAT, yeah, you're going to need to know algebra pretty well. And germdas shouldn't be something you write on your page. It should just be something you feel in your bones as you're doing math.